Hey everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. It's January 2023 as I'm recording this. So a new year and a new logo for the channel. I wanted to give you all a quick update on my plans for the channel for this year. And also a quick update on the IC7100 squelch circuit. I've been looking through my videos and I realized that for 2022 I only put out 10 videos. So my New Year's resolution is to put out more videos for this year, hopefully a lot more, but I'm not going to commit to any particular number. The interface and squelch circuit for the IC7100 is coming along, and it has expanded a bit, as I mentioned in my last update last year. I did get circuit cards in, and I got several of them assembled, as you can see here. I gave several of the boards to members of our local radio club to do some testing, and I've been doing some testing. Everything seems to be functional, and one of the club members, Howard, a friend of mine, even put together a 3D printed box for the circuit. So far, so good, but I did discover there's a few silkscreen errors on the circuit board that I want to fix. I also want to change the arrangement of the connectors to try to make it a little easier to make a purpose-designed production box for it. So I'll be working on Rev 2 and getting some more cards made and ordered. And then once I get those in and get that tested, I think I'll be ready to offer circuit cards, probably a kit, and possibly a production assembled unit. As I mentioned in the last update, I'll decide on a production unit depending on how inexpensively I can get them made in small quantities. I don't want to be trying to sell anything that's going to be super expensive. If you've watched this as it's come along, you know that this project started out as just a squelch circuit for the 7100. And I also discovered there's a few caveats with squelching the audio on the 7100. Although for certain use cases, it still works fine. But I decided to expand it to some of the other signals. By adding the 8-pin connector to the board, it also works for several other ICOM models. As I was researching this, I didn't realize how many models this was going to work for. It turns out ICOM has been really consistent about how their accessory interface operates for quite a few years. So this circuit, when it's done, is going to work for all of these ICOM radios that you see scrolling past here. I've got several projects in the pipeline right now, and I do plan to get back to a more regular schedule on tutorials for this year. I wanted to thank all of you for watching the channel and helping to make it successful. And I especially wanted to thank the many of you who have reached out and left comments and left kind words and questions. And I just want you to know how much I really appreciate that. It does mean a lot. I do try to answer all of the questions. I can't promise that I'll get to them all quickly. And I can't promise that I'll answer all the comments out there. But I try to answer as many as I can. So please keep the comments coming. And I do read all of them. That's all I wanted to say in this one. So as always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD. And this is Ham Radio A to Z.